This is Chris Bedales. Like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to Mother Channel Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bedales, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. It'll all be down there in the description box, and I'm here to do my WWE Friday Night Smackdown, November 24th, 2023 reviews. So here we go discussing about tonight's episode of Friday Night Smackdown. Now this is the go-home show for Survivor Series War Games. So here we go discussing about Smackdown, the last episode before Survivor Series. So yeah, they're in Chicago tonight, and yeah, we kick off the show with the first segment of the night where we see... Uh, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, and Shotzi come out. Uh, so yeah, they come out there, and Becky Lynch was talking about how, uh, about, you know, her team's going to beat Damage Control and all that uh, tomorrow night at War Games and all that stuff. And she was somehow she can't wait to get her hands on Damage Control, even from what they did in the past and stuff, like earlier this year at WrestleMania and stuff. So yeah, that's what Becky Lynch was talking about, that she can't wait to get her hands on and then uh, Charlotte Flair starts talking about the same thing as well. And Bianca Belair as well. Tomorrow she can't wait to get her hands on damage control and for what they did to her two months ago by taking her out and all that. And Shotzi says that she can't wait to get her hands on damage control because of them cutting her hair and all that stuff. And she says that she's going to go crazy inside war games. So yeah, that's what was going on. And then all of a sudden they get inter interrupted by Bailey. It was just Bailey that came out. Uh, she was the only one that came out there, and, you know, she was going on about, like, how when she was alone with Charlotte Flair, how she says some stuff about Becky, but then she says, I'm not going to tell you what she said, and then she says when she was around Becky, Becky says some stuff about Charlotte, and then she goes, like, I ain't going to tell you what she said, so yeah, she was just going on weird stuff like that, uh, and then, uh, yeah, she was just going on and on and on, and then Becky Lynch was like, you know what, how about this, later on tonight, you uh you get two team members or whatever and two of us in the tag team match so yeah that's what becky lynch said uh bailey pretty much accepts it so yeah uh that's what happened there it was an okay segment but nothing really too crazy with it you know but yeah it was all right i guess but up next we're gonna be seeing the street profits versus damian priest finn balor of the judgment day for the undisputed wwe tag team championships up next on smackdown so yeah That'll be the first match of the night, and it'll be up next. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So, the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown. Now, before we talk about the first match of the night, we got to talk about a segment that happened backstage. So, yeah, we've seen Bailey. She goes up to uh, Asuka, Kyrie Sane, Dakota Kai, and the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky, Damage Control backstage. And Bailey was like, did y'all see what I did out there? Um you know, with the plan and all that stuff, and, uh, you know, Dakota and all was talking about how they got that tag team match tonight, and Bailey should be the one to go in the tag team match tonight, because Bailey was like, oh, how about, let's see, like, Io and Asuka as a tag team again, like the Kabuki Warriors, or, you know, Asuka or Io, or and stuff like that, you know, stuff like that, you know, Kyrie and Oscar and all that stuff, but yeah, that's what Bailey was talking about, and Dakota was like, well, how about, let's see you in the tag team match, and she was like, oh, me, and then, you know, Ky uh, Dakota was like, and Oscar. so yeah, Oscar was like, all happy about it, so yeah, Becky, uh, Bailey and Oscar will be teaming up later on tonight, that's what happened there, and then we'll get to the next match of the night, the first match, it was the undisputed WWE tag team champions, Finn Balor and Senior Money in the Bank, Damian Priest with the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley, The Judgment Day, versus Angela Dawkins and Montez for the Street Profits in a tag team match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. Bobby Lashley and B-Fab was watching this match backstage on the TV monitor. This match was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything between these two tag teams. Uh, like at one point, we actually seen the Street Profits almost come up and picked up a victory when they hit their tag team finish move that sit out Spinebuster and Neckbreaker combination onto Damian Priest. Uh, Ford pins Priest. One, two, Balor breaks at the pin, barely at the count of two. Uh, and then Montez Ford, uh, well, Angelo Dawkins takes out uh, Finn Balor and stuff out of the ring. And Angelo Dawkins got taken out by uh, Damian Priest. Ford knocks down Priest, and then he climbs up the top turnbuckle, about to hit that frog splash. Up until Rhea Ripley goes over there and distracts the referee while she's distracting the referee. Uh, Finn Balor sweeps. Montez Ford's legs from underneath them, and Ford hits his nuts on the top turnbuckle, and then um, Priest grabs him, 
tags in Ballard and then has him like an insane stone power driver position and drops him down to his back and then uh, Ballard climbed up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with a coup de gras onto Montez Ford and then he pins up for the one two three so yeah the judgment day defeated the street profits tonight in the tag team match and they have retained the undisputed wwe tag team championships that's what happened great match though uh then after that match we see uh bianca belair shotzi and becky lynch talking backstage charlotte flair comes up she was talking about how she talked to nick aldis about a tag team match tonight and how her and becky lynch will be teaming up and then Becky was like, oh, I could have talked for myself and stuff. And they both start arguing and Bianca's trying to get them to calm down. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Um, but, yeah, for that tattoo match show, I'll give it three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a good match show for the most part. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night Smackdown. I'll see you guys later until then. So the next thing to happen on Friday Night Smackdown, we'll get to the next segment of the night where we see uh, Grayson Waller coming out there hosting the Grayson Waller Effect. So yeah, he comes in there and he was talking about how great his talk show host, um, talk show is and all that stuff. And he says he got some good uh, special guests and he introduces Kevin Owens, but it wasn't Kevin Owens. It was Austin Theory dressed up as Kevin Owens. You know, uh, he comes out there, and they're both uh, talking about Kevin Owens, but not too long because Kevin Owens does come out there. Everybody was wondering why Kevin Owens is out there because he got suspended, and he sees that his suspension came up today. So, yeah, he comes out there, and he sees that he's a special guest and all that stuff, so he thinks he deserves to be out there and all that. So, yeah, they was talking and everything, and then uh, Grace Waller was talking about how he could have beat L.A. Knight if – Kevin Owens wasn't around and all that stuff. And Kevin Owens was like, well, LA Knight would have beat you even if I wasn't around. And then they kept on talking about LA Knight up until LA Knight does come out there. And LA Knight starts talking about Austin Theory and Grayson Waller uh, saying, yeah, and all that. And he said he calls Austin Theory a town clown and all that and dressed up as Kevin Owens. And just funny stuff, you know. And then uh, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory was like, well, how about let's just go punch both of them in the face, right? First, let, yeah, let's go do it. And Kevin Owens was like, LA Knight, you want to go punch him in the face? And he says, sure. And both of them punches Austin Theory and Grace Waller in the face and knocked them out of the ring. And they started destroying the Grace Waller effects, um, you know, stuff. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff. Funny stuff right there. But, yeah, uh, later on tonight in the main event, it will be Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch versus Bailey and Oscar in the tag team match. That'll be the main event later on tonight. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night Smackdown. I'll see you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Friday Night Smackdown, it was a tag team match. It was LA Knight and Kevin Owens versus Austin Theory and Grayson Waller in a tag team match. And this match, it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth between these two teams and all that stuff. Uh, it was a damn good one. There was some cool moves from LA Knight. Like at one point, he actually had uh, Austin Theory up on his shoulders for like a running power slam, but he just like ran and then he just dropped Theory backwards onto his back, which was pretty cool. It was a cool move, you know. Uh, but then we started getting towards the ending of this match where we see uh, everybody interfering and all that stuff. And then uh, Austin Theory lifts up LA Knight up on his shoulders to hit a time down onto him. But then Kevin Owens comes in there saving LA Knight. And then he kicks uh, Grace Waller in the stomach and hits the stunner onto Grace Waller. And then LA Knight turns uh, Austin Theory around, hits uh, the BFT onto Theory, and then pins him for the three count. So yeah, LA Knight and Kevin Owens defeated Austin Theory and Grace Waller tonight in a tag team match. That's what happened. Pretty damn good match if you have yeah, Go check it out. I'll give it three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it a good match between those two teams. But yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that, we see Becky Lynch walking around backstage, and then Bianca Belair comes up, and Bianca's trying to tell Becky Lynch to like cool down and stuff about the situation and all that stuff. And she says that, you know, people never thought that they would actually get along and become, you know, working together and all that stuff. So, you know, Becky Lynch needs to cool down. Becky Lynch just talking about like how she's always want to fight and all that stuff, but she says she's cool down, Becky Lynch. So, yeah. That's what Becky Lynch was saying right there. But yeah, funny stuff. 
you know. But yeah, up next we're gonna be seeing Carlito up next on SmackDown. We're gonna see what he got to say next. It's still to come later on tonight in the main event. We'll see uh Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch versus Bailey and Oscar in a tag team match still to come later on tonight in the main event for tonight's episode of Friday Night SmackDown. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on SmackDown. See you guys later. Until then. So the next thing to happen on Friday Night Smackdown, Carlito comes out there and he got some stuff to say and pretty much he's uh, talking about Santos Escobar of what he did to Rey Mysterio a few weeks ago and all I have what happened last week on Smackdown when he started attacking Joaquin Wild Cruz and Toro and he said yeah, go out there and make the save and all that stuff. So yeah, and that's what Carlito was talking about but then he tells everybody that he apologizes but he's going to speak in Spanish because he got some stuff to say to Santos Escobar. He pretty much calls out Santos Escobar in Spanish. Santos comes out there and he pretty much blames Carlito for everything that happened to Rey Mysterio for what happened while he's injured and all that stuff. And it's all because of Carlito's fault. And he says that Carlito was never a part of the NLWO because he never got the tattoo on his hand. So yeah, that's what uh, Santos Escobar was talking about Carlito and stuff. And he got on the ring apron talking a lot of crap to Carlito. But Carlito had nothing. He just comes over there and knocks Santos off the ring apron. Both of them starts going at it outside the ring, throwing each other into the barricades and stuff. But then a bunch of security guards and stuff starts pulling Santos Escobar and Carlito apart. Santos says, screw this. He walks away going up the ramp and all that stuff. And while Carlito was focused trying to break free and all that stuff, Santos then came around the corner. Get, got into the crowd and all that stuff and jumps off the barricade with the jumping knee to the arm of uh, Carlito taking him out and Santos walks away all happy and stuff. But yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff there. I like that segment with uh, Carlito and Santos pretty much trying to hype up their match even a little bit more for tomorrow night at Survivor Series. So yeah, that's what happened there. But yeah, still to come later on tonight, we will, we will see Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch versus Bailey and Asuka in a tag team match in the main event. But up next, we'll be seeing pretty deadly in action against the Brawling Bruce up next in a tag team match. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So, the next thing that happened on Friday night, SmackDown, it was a tag team match. It was Ridge, Holly, and Butch, the Brawling Bruce versus Kit Wilson and Elton Prince. Pretty deadly in a tag team match. So, yeah, uh, we get to this tag team match. This match, it was an okay match. It was going back and forth and everything. Ridge Holland was trying to beat uh, Kit Willis in the chest with the batter and the ram. And then he gets drop kicked upside the head by uh, Kit Wilson. Uh, and then uh, Ridge Holland rolls out the ring and Butch was trying to tag him in and all that stuff. And Ridge Holland pretty much says, screw this match. He's walking backstage. So, yeah, he pretty much portrayed uh, Butch, and he walks away, and Butch had to go all alone, and Butch was doing pretty good all alone, he was, uh, hitting some German suplexes on pretty deadly, taking them both out, kicking them upside the head, and all that stuff, he takes out Kit Wilson, and he thought that Elton Prince was the legal man, uh, but apparently, he tags in Kit Wilson behind Butch's back, so yeah, Butch didn't see it, and Butch snaps his fingers and hits a bitter ending onto him, and he was about to go for the pin onto Elton Prince up until Kit Wilson comes up behind him, sliding him up for a pin, like locking both of his arms for the cru uh, crucifix pin, pinning him for the three count. So yeah, pretty deadly defeated the Brown Bruce tonight in a tag team match. It was a good tag team match. For that match, I'll give it two and a half stars. That's why I'll give it, but yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that, we see Charlotte Flair backstage, and Shotzi comes up, and Shotzi wants to think. Charlotte Flair for the things that she said to her when she first shaved her head and all that stuff. And she goes like, do you remember what she said to me? And Charlotte was like, yeah, I said that you was very pretty and stuff like that. And Charlotte seems like, yeah, a few th a few words helps people. And she says that I think you should go talk to Becky Lynch and stuff because a few words always matters. And she walks away. But yeah, that's what happened there. Still would come later on tonight. Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch versus Bailey and Asuka in a tag team match in the main event. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night Smackdown. I'll see you guys later. Until then. So, the next thing that happened on Friday Night Smackdown. Now, before we talk about the tag team match, there was a few things that happened. So, backstage, we see uh, Nick Aldis getting interviewed and stuff. And Nick Aldis was talking about stuff about Rey Mysterio and Carlito because now Carlito's taking out that match for later on tonight and all that stuff so yeah that happened there and yeah then all of a sudden that's when 
Dragon Lee comes up and he says that hey, he'll be the one taking over Car he can take over Carlito's spot and all that stuff and go against uh, Santos Escobar and uh, you know Nick Aldis says all right, fine, you can have that match against Santos Escobar tomorrow night at Survivor Series. So yeah, later on uh, tomorrow night it'll be uh, Dragon Lee versus Santos Escobar one on one. So yeah, Dragon Lee's replacing Carlito. But then after that part. Uh, well, actually, I forgot to mention that backstage, we actually seen Carlito getting help backstage, and, uh, Santos Escobar did attack him even more, going after that arm, and then Dragon Lee did come up, kicking him in the face, and beat him down and stuff backstage. So, yeah, that did happen, that's why this match came all about, but, yeah, I forgot to mention that part. But, yeah, then after that, we actually see, uh, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair talking backstage, talking about, are, are both of them good, and all that stuff, and they say, yeah, and then... They go out there about to head for their match. But yeah, that's what happened there as well. Forgot to mention that part as well. And yeah, uh, and we've seen the Judgment Day talking backstage, talking about how they'll take care of Randy Orton as well, that has a, uh, as they're going to take care of uh, taking Cody Rhodes tomorrow night. But then after that, we get to the tag team match. The main event, it was Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch with Bianca Belair and Shotzi at ringside versus Bailey and Asuka with the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky, Kyrie Sane, and Dakota Kai, Damage Control at ringside. So, yeah, we'll get into this tag team match. And this match was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything. But then we started getting towards the ending of this match where we see uh, Becky Lynch and Bailey going back and forth. Be uh, Becky Lynch had a missile drop kick off the second turnbuckle, off the top turnbuckle, only got a two count out of it. But then locked on the disarm her up, up until Austin breaks a uh, submission as well. And then Becky Lynch starts coming back a little bit. Hits the manhandle slam onto Bailey. She goes for the pin on the Bailey, but when she goes for the pin on the Bailey, Oscar comes running in. Charlotte comes running in, and then Charlotte hits a spear onto Oscar, which Oscar lands onto Becky Lynch, breaking up the pin at the count of two. Becky Lynch goes up to uh, Charlotte, going like, "What the hell are you doing?" And all that stuff, getting face to face with her. And then that's when Bailey comes up from behind. Becky Lynch pushes her into Charlotte, knocking Charlotte out the ring and rolling up. Becky Lynch for the one, two, three. So yeah, Bailey and Oscar defeated Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch tonight in a tag team match. That's why it was a good match. I'll give that match three stars. Just while giving Bailey, uh, oh well, Becky Lynch walks out the ring and stuff after arguing with Charlotte Flair about what happened. But yeah, that's what happened there for match of the night. I probably gotta say it was that tag team title match. That tag team title match was pretty good. But then that LA Knight and Kevin Owens match was pretty good as well. But yeah, for tonight's episode of SmackDown, I'll give it a seven and a half stars as well. Give it. But yeah, that was SmackDown. Uh, I'll be talking about Survivor Series tomorrow night. So yeah, look out for that. And I have a Survivor Series predictions up later on as well. So yeah, like, subscribe. Subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Bagels. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later. Until then.